Oh, we're zoomed in a bit too much. Hang on, this thing's a bit cockeyed now, isn't it? Cockeyed a sailor man. Yeah, what do you call Popeye after a severe accident? Cockeyed a Yeah, anyway. Yeah, why isn't that? Mm, there's something weird going on here. I don't know if that's because the camera's not... It is because the camera's not lined up. Ah, I can't type from there. Bollocks. I suppose I could keep this video and call it behind the scenes. But I can't be bothered, so I stay on this one. You know the score, mate. Camera come, comes on. Shit is uh, potentially loaded. I don't mean shit games. I mean just like any old shit I can find. Because I don't think you want to see me playing uh, Blue Max yet again. And I've probably got about 20 hours of Manic Miner gameplay and me talking and... I don't think I've ever uploaded them. Although I might just upload them so I can delete them off. Mad Commodore 2 is clogging up the system, isn't it? I don't have backups of those old videos anymore, actually. Uh, I decided I needed the hard drive space on the, uh, the other hard drive. So they're only on Mad Commodore 2. So if that fails, those, uh, those few videos, yeah, I'm going to have to upload them. But uh, it's so slow uploading with my internet now. We didn't play Hercules. Hercules is a shit game. Uh, there is nothing on the trainers that would help. Actually, I, I, the game is so badly designed it's just infuriating why am i playing this game i don't know people want to watch videos on my channel i guess who knows mate right yeah still not quite right now all we've got to do is get the lighting conditions correct and uh, we're good to go yeah, there's no point making a roll up because uh you won't be able to play this game uh, while you're smoking. Now I think, yeah, I've got a uh, Skyfox here. Is this the Amiga version? If it is the Amiga version. Oh, this was from Macros, four ninety nine plus VAT. <laughs> 512k Amiga Skyfox. I did uh, load this up on uh, the CDTV just to test out the A the disc and B the drive. Uh, but I have to play uh, Skyfox on the C64 first and we have to do a repair on uh, the old uh, Quick Shot Turbo. I have to find the other one that isn't knackered and fix the fire button using the one that is knackered but the fire buttons are not. One. Yeah, they're going to come out great, aren't they? Fucking uh, brown on orange. So rubbish jump controls, that's the first thing. So if I had Manic Miner jump controls, I could understand people liking this game, but uh, no, mate. What can you say, really? It's just a shit game. So it's a, it's a memory game. Ah, oh, bollocks, just fuck off. I don't know what you want me to do now, though. That's the thing. Are there other invisible pla- Ah, oh, fucking hell, not this bit again. I don't know if I can make it to the other side, actually. I don't know. Okay, what's going on there? See, it's it's just like this the whole way through. It's just like there. 
it's like Tales of the Arabian Night stroke China Minor quality uh, game engine here going on as far as the jump controls go they're shit they are absolutely shit and then on top of that you've got the ridiculous uh, idea of doing it this way how am I supposed to get there then? Well, not by walking off Mad Commodore, innit? See, how am I supposed to... So, it's, it's a memory game. So, there's platforms missing. It's rubbish jump controls. How am I supposed to know which way to jump? Exactly. So, it must be the other way. What the fuck is going on? Bollocks. This game is absolutely shit. And, uh one of the few reviews on Zap that is absolute bollocks mate how am I supposed to know that they fucking dissolve client network terminal services can't I see that's what CNTs used to stand for, Client Network Department. And this is a client network game, it's a cunt of a game. There's no reason why this should be uh, highly, uh, you know, highly rated in Zap. It's not programmed well in our bollocks. So let me guess, you got to go to the other side of that one. How am I supposed to fucking... See, I don't even get to see. And so we seem to get this one a lot, actually. So maybe you have to jump to the very end. But it's like, I don't want to be working this shit out with platforms missing and shit jump controls. And, uh, you know, in fact, you know what? Fuck this shit. Let's, uh, I'm going to load up a 1984 game now that doesn't have shit jump controls as I remember it. And I have played it on the SX64. Luckily, it was on those cracked discs. And who can blame the uh, cracker there? Me. Well. Right, you need to go and buy a software publisher. I really need to sort out this one gig directory. It needs to be trimmed down to the bone, mate. Like a race car. There's just loads of like wasted space on here. Okay, that's not good. I'm actually looking for a particular publisher. Ocean. Why haven't I fucking put Hunchback on here then? I'm sure Hunchback was 1984. Yeah, I don't want a crazy hack. You can always uh, not have the trainers on the plus version. So, uh, yeah, battery's not flashing. Didn't quite have the full charge, even though it was on charge for... 1 hour 45 minutes, so it takes longer to charge than it gives you back in, uh, you know, record time. So yeah, I totally disagree with uh, Julian Rickman and Gary Penn now, I'm sorry mate. There are difficult, challenging games which, you know, someone who's excellent at arcade games can appreciate, but that is not arcade game coding. Well, look, it is 1983. This goes up there with uh, Beachhead and Manic Miner as a good reason to have a C64 in 1983. Like me! You lucky bastard, Mad Commodore. Let's go save uh, reset. Luckily that worked. Joystick. Alright, great. One of the earliest games I had on the C64. I'm pretty sure this was like 
summertime kind of thing. It was very sunny when I used to play this game. It's not like you could miss out on this game because there weren't a load of brilliant C64 games in the early to mid 1983. Certainly my pocket money was enough to keep up. Although uh, Beachhead at 10 quid was a bit of a piss take. But it was worth it. See look, these are the kind of jump controls Hercules should have. This is, this is a difficult game, but at least you've got a decent fucking bit of coding for your uh, control. And there's nothing missing. It's not like the rope disappears and then you have to work out, oh, there's a rope there, an invisible rope. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to keep playing this, though, for now. Although this is ruining memory. Stop ruining memory.